guys welcome back to my channel if you are a new warrior welcome i'm raven and i'll be taking you all with me on my journey to conquering rheumatoid arthritis before we get into this video pause it subscribe and hit the bell button so you all will be notified every time that i upload i do upload new videos every thursday so it's that time of year where everyone is looking for hats, scarves, covers, all the necessities to keep you warm during the cold season. If you followed me on social media, you would have known I used to crochet, which I loved. I was a small business and self-taught, so that really meant a lot to me. I did all the crocheting by myself, which was probably not the best idea. Unfortunately, I had to put my business on pause after two years. I was angry. Well, angry is an understatement, but stay tuned if you want to find out why I had to stop crocheting. I had a lot of supportive clients. The custom creations were my favorite. So since I was crocheting by myself, I would crochet every time I had free time, before work, on lunch break, after work, and wouldn't stop until around 2 or 3 that morning. Knowing I had rheumatoid arthritis, I figured it was more therapy since I wasn't in pain. I had no stiffness, no flare-ups, nothing. The people who knew my situation was very concerned, hoping I wasn't taking on too much, which I wasn't. I was good, yeah, I promise. So when it came to my second year of crocheting, things started to change. More business meant more orders. The first year I was only doing basic scarves. And in the second year, I added more scarf designs, hats, two different headbands, pillows, throws. <laughs> yeah, a lot. So that's when things started to change. While I was crocheting, I wasn't in any pain. But the minute I would stop, my wrist was stiffening up, which I was so confused. So around July 2018, when I was a vendor at a market show, is when I realized it was getting worse. It was near the time for me to get my retouch and infusion, so I assumed my body knew I needed the medicine. I got the infusion and still nothing. The pain continued to get worse. I was prescribed different medication and nothing changed. My rheumatologist referred me to a hand orthopedic because we couldn't figure out what the issue was. Keep in mind, at this time, I had all mobi mobility, I had strength. It was just the pain that was bothering me. The doctor recommended me to take a break and see if that would change anything. In the midst of that, I went to get an MRI, and those results stated something that I had um, torn something in three different areas, inflammation and something else. While I'm taking a break from crocheting, my wrists and hands would tingle. They would become numb if I bumped it into something or even if someone touched me. I would have sharp pains that would run up to my elbows. I took that information to the hand orthopedic and he decided to do x-rays. So with all that information he received, he decided that crocheting was bad for me and for me to stop. Oh yeah, when I tell you I was heated because I was getting better and plus I had new designs on the way. So I took it to social media to inform everyone that I would no longer be crocheting and I had to do a lot of returns since I was unable to crochet. My inboxes were flooded with questions on why I had to stop because many people didn't know my situation and I wasn't at that place in my life at that time to tell everyone the real reason. I think I told them something that um, the crocheting is messing up my hand, is in pain, something like that and I left it at that. So... For the people who did know my situation, I did give them a few details on why I had to stop. The doctor suggested two surgeries for me. I'm not going to give the surgery name just yet because I'm going to save that for another video discussion. So he suggested that the first surgery would be a 50-50 chance. And if that didn't work, we would have to do the second surgery. And that one would fix everything. He informed me if I did the surgery and if it did work, I could go back to crochet. So yeah, when I tell you I was happy, I was happy. So in January of this year, 2019, I decided to go through with the first surgery in hopes of crocheting again. I had to go to physical therapy after recovering for about two weeks. Therapy lasted for about a month or a little over a month. In the midst of me going to physical therapy, I was creating even more ideas and still buying yarn. So I still had a shopping problem, but we're not going to talk about that. So when everything was done and over, I was recovered, I was healed, I still was not able to crochet. I lost about 60% of mobility in my wrist, and the tingling and sharp sensations did not approve. So I was pissed, I was confused, I questioned myself, and wondered if I had not stopped crocheting, would my wrist still be the way it is? The thing is, with rheumatoid arthritis, you never know. So I don't know if the inflammation did it, or when I stopped crocheting, 
did that limit the function of my wrist? I was I was confused. So of course I tried to crochet after I was recovered and it still felt bad. Like yeah, the pain was unbearable. I don't put the blame on anyone and no and I know my crocheting days aren't over. I know I'm going to have a ton of questions about my surgery. So stay on the lookout for that video. So thank you for sitting through my story time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.